want to address something that I have seen in comments before, not specifically in this channel, but in other channels. And um, quite honestly, I see the, 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 yes, it happens. And I see the, well, may not be what you said. It may be actually something truthful behind it. And maybe just taken as a warning. I'm speaking about fear mongering. Um, a lot of folks uh, complain that YouTubers uh, do fear mongering to get clicks. I'm not gonna deny that. That is true. I actually have seen it myself. I actually have seen uh, folks doing it because they will flat out say, well, the, the YouTube algorithm favors that type of things, those titles, those thumbnails and whatnot, and that brings revenue. So I have seen that, so I'm not gonna deny that. However, what I will say is not everything is fear-mongering. And when you say it's fear-mongering, that is based on something that is not true. Say, for example, you, you go running saying, the war is ending, the war is ending, but you don't have any proof. So that is fear-mongering. You there are inciting fear into people without any proof whatsoever. The majority of prepper channels, Honestly, the ones that I see, the ones that I follow, you can trust me on this. Um, I don't follow a lot of proper channels anymore. Uh, I really don't. I have come to that point uh, in my life that is, I just follow a very few. Uh, I really don't have the time. Um, believe it or not, uh, people will say, well, Billy, you retire. Yes, and I still have a crap lot of things that I have to do all the time. Plus, I volunteer my time uh, in other areas. So... Um, I don't have the time to sit in front of the computer or on my phone and watch um, every single uh, prepper channel up there. So I just don't have the time. I have very few that I just follow that I have followed for many years. Um, but here's the thing. Fear mongering, like I mentioned before, is you, you know, spewing fear without having any proof. But if you have proof or all you're doing is sharing what you're doing, that to me is not fear mongering. That to me is reality. You are, say for example, what we do here, we share with y'all what we do. That's, I don't see that as fear mongering. Uh, we come here and we share with y'all the similarity that we see in the current uh, government that we are living under, the US government. And what we have seen uh, happen in the past in Cuba, something that we have lived through, not something that we have read on the book, something that we have lived through. So I don't see that as fear mongering at all. I see that as a, uh, you know, we are comparing one to the other and we find in a lot of similarities that they are very concerning. And uh, we are, you know, showing you all, hey, this is what we're doing just in case. We want nothing to happen. We really do not want anything to happen at all. We want to be happy, y'all. We want to live a happy life with no worries and just do our thing and nothing uh, whatever happened in the world. We want we want rainbows and unicorns. We really do. But unfortunately, this is not the, that's not the world that we live in. And the similarities are concerning. Very concerning. So when you hear people sounding the alarm, don't just think that it's fear mongering. Those people may see something that you are not seeing. Honestly, and the truth is, if you ignore the signs, well, you may be in a world of hurting. And I am, honestly, I don't know how many times I keep saying that, that you may be in a world of hurting if something does happen. And it's not if, because something will happen eventually. May not be in our time, may be in our kid's time, but something will happen because that's just the way uh, the world works. Uh, we will see an event uh, sooner or later, whether it's going to be natural, whether it's going to be political, whether it's going to be economical. Uh, we will see an event. At least once we will see an event in our lifetime. And I'd rather have everything that I need to sail through that event than not be in the gutters or be in a shit hurt, you know, just because I didn't prepare. Now, some of us have gone through uh, many hardships. Uh, a lot of you have. I, I know that for a fact because you had let us know in the comments. Hey, I went through this. This is the things that I have experienced, uh, you know, and, and so on and so forth. So you know exactly 
what fear mongering is because well uh you, you, you know, the, the real thing is, the real funny thing is, uh, it's, you can spot fear mongering a mile away. You really could. You really could. I mean, you're talking about these people, uh, they're always like, I got inside information, uh, this is going on, and guys, you see it. Don't get upset for what you see. You know, just if you don't like it, click away. Like I mentioned early. And in the beginning of the video, I don't follow all the prepper channels that are up there. And there is a crap load of them. Because a lot of them are just for the money now. They really are. Some still remain true to who they are and to their core values. And they still want to help. Some are just showing you what they're doing. Some, you only, you, you see the progression of their, uh, of their channel. You know, they, they started there here, now they're here, uh, and, and so on and so forth. You see it. But you can't go in, in every single one and, you know, just argue about everything. It's just not beneficial for you, honestly. I'm going to be honest, it's not beneficial for you. Because everybody has a different opinion. That is the reality of it. And uh, for them... That might be their reality for them. They may not, that might not be fear mongering. That's the way that they are. Some people are just that way. You know, I mentioned, uh, I mentioned one time um, that you got to take the good and the bad with everybody. You, you really do. Uh, and, you know, I don't agree with everybody at all. Um, and, uh, and some people, you know, may disagree with me and that's okay too. But, at one point, at one point, we have to come together and uh, and then see the greater good. Do you want freedom or do you want to be a slave? Do you like uh, having a second amendment or do you want to be a victim? Do you like being left alone by the government or do you want to be told what to do 24-7? Do you want to have land that is yours and should not be taxed or do you want to be taxed to, to the wasu you know we we have to come together on um an x amount of things and we really we really have to start you know you know forgetting about the the, the minutiae and that's what i fear that a lot of people are just focusing on the minutiae because they really have nothing else better to do i'm gonna come out and say it like that they really have nothing better else to do they have way too much time in their hands and they're focusing on the little things. Have you ever uh, submitted a paper and it is returned to you, whether it's a report that you did to work or school or whatever, and uh, just because you forgot a comma here or a period there or an exclamation, uh, they send it back to you, or oh, you need to fix this. And they are nitpicking on every little thing. You know why they're doing that? Because they have to justify what they're doing. And because they got nothing better to do. That is the reality of things. But nonetheless, fear mongering. Fear mongering is nothing more than when people are screaming their lungs out. And they have no proof of why they're screaming or you know the reason that they're screaming for. Reality, however, is a different thing. In our country, the reality is that we are in a shitter. We really are. And the reality is that I will say, I will say that it's my opinion that we have a few months to prepare as best as we can because if that lady is put in power, I am telling you all, the signs are there. The similarities with Communism and the things that she wants to do are incredible. Incredible. I actually did a video, you know, on that. The last video that I made, I'm going to put it right here so you guys can go uh, watch it. But they are scary. Scary similarities. I'm not saying that the other candidate is perfect. I'm not a fan of Trump. I, I, some of you might be like, oh my God, Billy, how can you say that? No. No, we, 
we here in America have gotten used to the idea of we need to choose between the less of two evils. I'm not saying that they are evil. I'm just saying that their policies and that quite honestly, quite honestly, I have been a, a strong critic of Trump when it comes to the 2A. That that he said, you take it and then you figure it out after, that did not sit well with me at all at all but if we look at the less of the two evils one is a flat-out communist the other one is treating the country as you treat a business you want to move forward I'm not saying guys and I want to emphasize this I'm not saying that the man is a savior at all but I want you to consider this forget about the way he talks Forget about the way he expresses himself towards uh, other people. Forget about all of that. Do you want somebody who will soften the blow? And we were gonna we're gonna get a a really hard blow. But do you want something who soften the blow? And the SHTF that we're gonna be dealing with is less um, impactful. It's gonna be there, but it's gonna be less impactful. Or do you want somebody who we're going to get hit really hard and we're going to get our teeth knocked down and to make matters even worse, which is going to be, which is going to be a hard crash. Which one you want? I, I'll leave that up to you. Let me know. Let me know what you would do or which one you prefer in the comment section, because quite honestly, we choosing between the lesser two evils. That's what we have been operating in this country for a very long time. I don't understand why. Because, you know, when I came over, when I came over from Cuba, all you hear uh, on the TV, which is now propaganda, flat out propaganda. But all you hear all over the place is like, we are the best of the wor in the world, the best and the brightest. There's a lot of smart people up there. Where are they? Where are they? So if you ask me, would I choose a businessman? Or would I choose somebody who have never worked a day in her life? Would I choose somebody who knows how to make money? Or would I choose somebody who knows how to take money? Would I choose somebody who said, I will take your guns and figure it out later or would I choose somebody who says I will implement mandatory buyback would you choose somebody who went in to the office with money and came out with less money or would you choose somebody who went into the office with no money and came out rich would you choose somebody who wants to serve people or would you choose somebody who wants people to serve her that's all I'm saying. Everyone, when it comes to fear mongering and reality, the reality is very simple. We are in a shit storm and a lot of people don't realize it. Does it take some time fear mongering for us to wake up people? Some preppers channels do. Some others don't. But the truth cannot be ignored. If you are not preparing today, Tomorrow, you're gonna get you're gonna get hit, and you're gonna get hit hard. So if you don't believe in insurance policies, because you don't believe that tomorrow uh, your family uh, deserves, and it's your responsibility to keep your family safe, and your family deserves to be safe, then you don't have to do anything. You don't have to watch it. No proper channels, whether they are fear mongering or whether they're telling you the reality. You don't have to do absolutely nothing. All you have to do is continue living your life, ignorance of whatever's going on, and bless you hard. Whatever happens to you, happens to you. And there's nothing more than nobody can do, honestly. So I think I, I, I spoke, uh, I talked enough already. Um, I don't think I need to uh, go on into more about fear mongering and whatnot everybody is going to take it the way that they're going to take it and that's just the way it is this is a free country think what you want have your opinion if you don't like uh, a channel that is fear mongering 
click away. It is your choice. But bitching and complaining, quite honestly, doesn't solve anything. It creates more separation, more division, and a time that we all need to come together. With that being said, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like I was rock on, rip on, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.